and that was my first experience with Starbucks. If question number two, if you could have only one thing from Starbucks, what would it be and why? Um, if I could only have one thing from Starbucks, I would definitely have to say they're mini vanilla scones. I absolutely love them. They are the right texture for me of sweet and salty. Um, yeah, so definitely the mini vanilla scones. Three, what is your fall winter go-to drink? That for me is the marble mocha macchiato with whipped cream. There's this guy, this barista at the Starbucks that I go to. He makes it. It is so 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 good so that is my favorite favorite winter drink that was question number three question number four if you could buy a starbucks location where would it be and why um that's a little hard because there's a lot of places that i would love to live at or in i'm gonna say hawaii and the reason i'm gonna say hawaii is because i've never been there and i know people that have lived there and they say it's absolutely beautiful and it's just a very laid back um, atmosphere and it's beautiful and did I say beautiful yeah I think I said that already so it just seems like a place that calls out to me that I think that I would really truly enjoy um, you know sipping my Starbucks you know by the beach so definitely definitely would have to be Hawaii so question number five what is your go-to spring summer drink for me that is the ice passion lemonade so that's the lemonade with the passion tea. I absolutely love that, the venti size. I love that for the spring and the summertime. That's my go-to drink because I do not, I'm not a big fan of iced coffee. Six, question six. Do you do you have a Starbucks story or memory you would like to share? Um, hmm. Nope, I, well, huh. Well, I have to say that my first time that I had actual coffee from Starbucks was when I was 27 I'm gonna say I was 27 28 years old and I absolutely was blown away by the their quality of their coffee and ever since then I was hooked because I had had coffee before and I thought that was coffee but after I had that first white chocolate mocha I you know the coffee not the ch chocolate I was like girl that was not coffee you were drinking before that was crap and ever since then i've just been a loyal starbucks person so they turned me on to quality coffee so that is my story and yeah that's the best that's the first memory of me having coffee seven if you could redesign the logo would you and if this is a yes or no question um Yes, I would because I like the old logo more. The one they had the Starbucks coffee. This is Starbucks coffee around it. I think the mermaid is really cute, but I really like when it said Starbucks coffee on it. So if I could redesign the logo, I would redesign it to have the Starbucks coffee on it again. And I would also redesign it so that every year for... Um, right before uh what's that called new year's eve they design like limited edition cups like of give people chances to just redesign it and make it a little more colorful like you know things like that so yes i would and it said and then the question that was question number eight if so how and why so like i mentioned i would redesign it so it says starbucks coffee again because i liked when it says starbucks coffee on it and i would redesign it so that it would be more colorful once a year um, so that people can have like, you know, different Starburst cups because I have about, I'm not going to lie about, about, I got about, about eight, ten cups from Starbucks and they're all, um, some of them are the same, some of them are different, but I like the more colorful, different looking, um, designs that they come out with for like the, for Christmas, but I think they should come out with something for like New Year's, like every year, right before New Year's, it's like a special New Year's Eve cup. That's what I would do. Um, nine, if you could wear one Starbucks accessory that could be earrings, watch, t-shirt, etc., what would it be and why? Um, if I could get one thing from Starbucks, which I don't know if they make accessories or not, earrings or whatever, because I've never seen them. I've seen t-shirts and hats. Um, I would definitely have to say, uh, a necklace. A necklace, like a, kind of a nameplate necklace that says Starbucks. That's something that I would wear every day or a bracelet that says Starbucks. So it would be either a necklace or a bracelet that says Starbucks on it. I would definitely wear it every day because I am, I'm a jewelry. I love jewelry. If you haven't noticed, I'm always wearing jewelry. <laughs> so it would definitely be jewelry. Um, Ten, who is your Starbucks soulmate? So what I mean by that, it could be anyone, like a fictional character from a book. It could be a character from a movie. It could be an actual movie star. So 
Hmm, that's a hard question because there's quite a few people that I wouldn't mind, you know, sitting down and having like coffee with. Um, hmm. Someone who tops, uh, pops right into my head right now that I could absolutely think who I think is absolutely gorgeous. And I think he would be very fun uh, to sit and talk to. And he is single, so I'm not picking someone who's already married. I would have to say Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Hello, ladies. I mean, that man is, oh my God, he is attractive and he has that killer smile. And it, and it, it doesn't hurt that he has such a really nice body to look at, right? <laughs> So I would say him, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. He is, oh my God, I think he's very sexy. So he would definitely be my Starbucks woman. I would love to sit down with him and have a cup of coffee. So that's it. Those are the 10 questions. And I hope you guys think this was fun. And I hope you guys um, do this tag and you pass it along. You tag other people. So I'm going to put down in the description box all the questions and all the people that I tag. And I hope you guys have fun with this. So I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye.